Some social media questions. Michael James on Facebook. In your opinion, who will be the 2020 Democratic nominee? Uh, I think it's uh, Avenatti as president. <laughs> and either Kamala Harris or Cory Booker in the two slot. I don't know, <laughs> obviously. That it's good, but can you imagine if last time on the Republican thing, it was a, a demolition derby. What's it going to be like on the Democrat part this side? Can you? I would. It's so funny now. I tune in to TV shows for serious political discourse, and I watch press conferences and debates for comedy because they have. Yeah, you know, they've flipped roles now. It's there's actually no, there's no news anymore. It, it's so when I think about who's queuing up already, but they they are saying, and I, you know, that Avenatti might be one of the front runners. <laughs> Austin Kelly on Facebook. Who would you like to have as a guest on your podcast? Well, you know, I don't... Listen, you'd be a great raconteur, but I don't really think about guests. Anybody who wants to show up is fine with oh, that's me. that's what you do? Yeah, I had to pull out of that Where part Where do you do it? it? Um, I do it in my... I have a studio in my home, and... Uh, but as far as long, longing for people, I, I, whoever they want to put in front of me... Listen, you know that. How many people have I seen? That's the one thing I always say to my wife. I say, Larry has no poker tell. I can't tell if he thinks this person is a stiff or the most fascinating <laughs> yeah, person who ever lived. Right, I'm curious. I said, that's beautiful. It's like he doesn't even have to bet and lose money, but he's playing <laughs> poker right there. Austin Kelly asked this a good question. Is there a difference between late night talk shows now than 20 years ago? Yeah, sure. Look, it's just as simple as Colbert. Take Colbert. I don't know. I've never met him. I think he was third in the ratings thing. Trump took the lead. He became anti-Trump on a nightly basis. It became a place for the, them to go and hang their hats on an echo chamber. I'm not disparaging it or anything, but it's more, much more. I mean, I don't know. How long did you watch Carson? Did you really know what his politics was? No, I didn't. M me neither. Mono Geffen on Twitter. Would you ever host Saturday Night Live if asked? Uh, they would. You know what? I, I have such a good understanding of why they wouldn't ask me. I, I wouldn't be a good host for them. That, I, I don't. I see Lauren all the time. We. Uh, well, that's it. I've seen Lauren around five times in the last couple of years. We always have. We have a great relationship. But I can see why I'm not a viable host for Saturday Night Live. Kids would tune in and go, who is this, this old cranky guy who's conservative? Uh, you know what I mean? You'd be great. Uh, listen, do I think I could do it? That's a different question. Yeah, I do. Do I think I'm like, when, when they sit down and go, who should we get? Who should we get? Should we get Cardi B or Dennis Miller? <laughs> Okay, Rob M. on Twitter. At what point in your career or personal life did you switch ideologies from a political perspective? You did switch. Well, no. I've always been a pragmatist, but I do remember during uh, Stockdale. That was a big thing for me. Uh, Ross Pro chose James Stockdale. And this guy was a guy who worked out a tap code system in the Hanoi Hilton. Kids who wanted to die was, uh, overnight. I was there with that whole selection. He prays with him. Great American. Okay, he runs. Perot picks him because Perot's like, yeah, to me, Perot's crazy. It's like, I, I want to see him as president for half. I want to see how crazy he is when he meets the Queen of England and go, are you Ruth Buzzy? You know, he's just crazy. <laughs> so when he picks Stockdale, I think I'll look into this guy. I read about Stockdale to the extent that I can, then they start making fun of him because he has his first press conference and he looks wide-eyed and he's a deer in a headlight and he says, well, I don't even know why I'm here. Boom, the liberals just weighed in on him, make fun of him. And I thought, this is getting too uh, flashcardy here. It, it's, it, it, they should invest a little more time in this. And I remember thinking, I'm not sure if I'm certain enough of my guesswork to be liberal anymore. I just started reading on things. Listen, I'm fiscally conservative. I'm socially liberal. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.